All right, guys, Coach Dan back with you at BaseballStrength.com. Today we're going to cover lateral movements. Your body moving side to side as efficiently as possible. Now what we're going to start with are strength moves. And any of you guys that have been around me for a while, you know that strength is the precursor to speed. You can move quickly, but the more strength you have that you can apply to that speed, the faster you're going to So strength is really the key component that gets you moving. That strength into power, power turns into speed. So we're going to do some lateral movements here. The first thing that we're going to do, we're going to get your feet out nice and wide, and we're going to do a weight shift lunge. Okay, what we're going to do here, we're going to, I'm going to lunge all my weight down. I'm going to squat down onto my right leg. From down here, I'm going to keep my hips at this same level and simply shift my weight. I'm 95% of my weight on my, my left leg, 5% on my right. And I'm going to shift back. Shift over, shift back. Now the key to this movement is keeping your heels tight to the ground. Catchers and first basemen especially love this drill. And you'll be able to see why as soon as you start it. Shift over, heels to the ground, Shift to the other side. Keeping the heels down nice and tight. The more flexible you are, the more upright you're going to be able to keep your chin in your chest. Okay? So you've got to work on your flexibility, you've got to work on your mobility, and you've got to work on the strength. Three components that are all getting put into play in one exercise. Now the next movement that we do is a lateral lunge. Very similar to the, the weight shift squat lunge. But here, I'm gonna put my one foot in front of the box, my other foot off to the side. All I'm gonna do is lunge down, touch the box with my cheek, and drive back up. Lunge down, all my weight going to my left, my right foot, and drive it back up. Chin up, chest up. Once you've developed enough flexibility on these moves, you can begin to add weight. From this angle here, lunge down, chin up, chest up, touch the box, and drive off. Now those are basic moves for getting our body moving in one direction. Now, let's say you're a first baseman or a third baseman with a hot shot down the line and you've got to make a backhand play or you're accelerating on a stolen base. What we're going to do here is called the crossover lunge. We're going to start out wide. I'm going to bring my right foot across and drop my back knee to the ground cross and drop to the ground. If you think about this in a game situation, snagging a backhand that's going down the line, driving your knee on a stolen base. From the side view, cross and drop. Cross and drop. The entire time I'm doing this, I'm working on keeping my hips, my toes, my shoulders, and my chin facing forward the entire time. So there's a few simple moves that you can put into play. Look at the lower body work that you're currently doing and see where these drills can replace drills that are already part of your program. Guarantee you're going to be moving faster when you go side to side. Now in the next video, we're going to get into some more explosive lateral moves, showing you how we can turn these strength moves into more explosive power moves. It's Coach Dan from BaseballStrength.com, signing off.